Fort Knox Gold, everything you need to know. Fort Knox, a fortified vault building, is located next to the United States Army post of Fort Knox, Kentucky. The vault is operated by the United States Department of the Treasury, and it is used to store a large portion of the United States gold reserves, as well as other precious items belonging to the federal government. Since its construction in 1935-1936, the facility has become an icon of American economic power and national security. The vault's history is intertwined with the history of the United States. During World War II, the vault was used to store the original copies of the United States Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights. Today, it remains a symbol of the country's economic might and financial stability. The gold and other valuables stored in Fort Knox are claimed to be regularly audited to ensure their authenticity and security. The facility is also open to visitors who can learn about the history, facts and features of the Fort Knox Bullion Depository by taking a guided tour. Fort Knox was originally established as Camp Knox in 1918 during World War I. It was named in honour of Major General Henry Knox, who was instrumental in establishing the Continental Army's Artillery Corps during the American Revolution. The camp was used for training troops and was decommissioned after the war. It was reactivated in 1932 as a permanent installation and renamed Fort Knox. During World War II, Fort Knox played a vital role in training soldiers for armoured warfare. The size and terrain of the installation made it an ideal location for such training. In addition, the United States Bullion Depository was established at Fort Knox during the war to store the country's gold reserves and other precious items. Today, Fort Knox remains an active military installation and home to the United States Army Armor School. The Bullion Depository was designed by Louis A. Simon and constructed between 1936 and 1937. The vault is built of granite, steel and concrete and is surrounded by a fence and armed guards. The vault door is made of steel and weighs 22 tons. The depository is also equipped with an elaborate security system, including motion sensors, cameras and alarms. The depository holds a significant portion of the United States gold reserves, along with other valuable assets. According to the United States Mint, the gold is held at book value of 42.22 per ounce. The gold is stored in the form of bars, with each bar weighing approximately 400 ounces or 27.5 pounds. The depository is secured by the United States Mint Police, who are responsible for ensuring the safety and security of the gold holdings. Fort Knox is known for its impressive gold reserves, but it also houses other important valuables. In addition to gold bullion, the Fort Knox Bullion Depository also houses a number of historical documents and artifacts. Some of the most notable items include the original Declaration of Independence, the original Constitution of the United States, the original Bill of Rights, the Magna Carta, the Gettysburg Address, and the Gutenberg Bible. These documents and artifacts are stored in specially designed containers that are designed to protect them from damage and deterioration. The containers are also equipped with climate control systems to ensure that the items are preserved in the best possible condition. The depository building at Fort Knox is designed to be highly secure. The walls are made of granite, steel plates and steel I-beams which provide a high level of protection against physical attacks. The building also has guard boxes and sentry boxes which are used by security personnel to monitor the area around the building. The United States Mint Police and the military provide armed protection for the gold reserves at Fort Knox. The Mint Police are responsible for the physical security of the depository building, while the military provides additional protection for the surrounding area. The Secret Service also plays a role in protecting the gold reserves. Access to the depository building is restricted to authorized personnel only. The building is monitored by surveillance cameras and access is controlled by a system of locks and alarms. The US Mint Police and the military also patrol the area around the building to ensure that unauthorized individuals do not enter. Fort Knox's Gold Vault has been the subject of many books, movies and television shows. One of the most famous examples is the James Bond film Goldfinger, where the villain attempts to steal the gold from Fort Knox. The movie helped cement the idea of Fort Knox as a secretive and secure location which has persisted in popular culture to this day. As a federal facility, Fort Knox Gold is managed by the United States Department of the Treasury. The Treasury Secretary is responsible for overseeing the facility's gold reserves and ensuring that they are properly accounted for. The gold stored at Fort Knox is owned by the US government and is valued at over 200 billion. Fort Knox has been known for storing gold, but it has also been used to store other valuable items. One of these items is medicine. 
During World War II, Fort Knox was used as a storage and distribution center for opium and morphine. Opium and morphine were used to treat wounded soldiers in the field and were considered essential for the war effort. According to historical records, Fort Knox stored over 1.8 million ounces of opium and morphine sulfate during World War II. The drugs were stored in a secure location within the Fort Knox Bullion Depository. The opium and morphine were stored in special containers and were carefully monitored to ensure that they remained safe and secure. The drugs were distributed to military hospitals throughout the country and were used to treat soldiers who had been wounded in battle. To date, there has never been a successful theft of gold from Fort Knox. While there have been several attempts to breach the facility's security over the years, none have been successful.